all right hi guys um welcome back to my channel y'all already this is too fat i didn't already open my food but i'm hungry as hell but let me do a little introduction because i'm ready to dive up in this goddamn food so today i'm gonna be doing a story time slash mukbang on how <laughs> my tattoo artist messed up the biggest tattoo on my body which is my back tattoo um mind y'all this was my I'm, I'm gonna get into it but yeah we just gonna be doing a story time and i'm gonna be eating i'm gonna try to talk and eat at the same time because like i said i didn't eat today so like i'm trying i'm gonna try not to be too too greedy um i'm gonna show y'all what i got i got some empire wings so i got some spicy honey barbecue wings with some vj fries which is basically barbecue and ranch on top of the fries um for my drink i got y'all let me put y'all on if y'all have not tried this yet go try it it's the dr pepper strawberries and cream if you like like the red cream soda you gonna love this and i don't even drink dr pepper but this is good as hell but um yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing today so now mind y'all this happened about two years ago it's 2024 i believe it happened in 2021 let me make sure i check that i'm not giving y'all the wrong dates this happened no it happened in 2022 i'm sorry so yeah two years ago um he fucked up my back tattoo now mind y'all this tattoo artist i'm not gonna say his name because i had already exposed him on instagram during the time that all this transpired and i just don't want to like really be bringing up i don't want to say his name and then somebody sent this to him and then it'd be a whole bunch of drama i don't got time for that but so I'm not gonna mention his name. If y'all live in Louisiana and y'all want to know who it is, so y'all can make sure y'all don't go to him. Now I'm not gonna say he a bad tattoo artist, but I'ma say he fucked me up though. But um, yeah, if y'all stay in Louisiana or Baton Rouge and y'all just wanna make sure y'all, you know, DM me on Instagram and I'll let y'all know. But I'm not gonna say his name on this video because I don't want people to be like, oh, she being messy. This is y'all. I don't got time. So let's get into it um mind y'all like i said since that happened two years ago i don't have everything in this phone but because i exposed him on instagram whenever it happened i do have still the posts like of all the screenshots and everything so i'm gonna just be like show y'all this i am gonna like insert clips of like how the tattoo looked the messages all kinds of stuff so i'm gonna do that but okay so basically first off um like i said he did all my tattoos y'all i have like nine tattoos on my body he did every single one of them so as far as like me doing a big back piece i trusted him because like i said he did all my my tattoos and i love my tattoos so yeah let me take a bite because i'm hungry as hell mm. and i probably should have got something that wasn't gonna be as messy I wanted to get hibachi 50 flow eating hibachi but i didn't i didn't do it but okay boom so yeah i trusted him to do my big tech back tattoo i wanted a big ass tree with some flowers so um we did this in two sessions i think i just spit we did my back tattoo in two sessions because like i said it was a big tattoo oh they're strong so yeah the first session was just him doing my tree on my back i wonder if i got tattoo uh, pictures of just my tree i don't think i do but y'all he did my tree so beautifully perfect like I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Back tattoo hurts like a bit. I'm gonna lie to y'all. Um, I was very much in pain. Mm? But he did my my tree so perfect. If I can find pictures of the just the tree alone, I'm gonna insert it so y'all can see like the different stages of the sessions. But yeah, he did my tree cool um i can't remember when that was like what month it was and what i want to say it was like april or some shit i don't know but yeah so i didn't book my next session because like i said that shit hurt so i was we was just like um 
gonna wait till I'm ready to do the flowers and then I'll just let you know when I'm gonna come. Da da da. So I'm finally ready to finish up my back tree. You know, my tree on my back. I hit them up. I'm like, um, we booked it or whatever. First time he did my tree, he brought up numbing cream and he was like, next time you come, I'm gonna have some numbing cream for you. I was like, all right, bet. So when I went the sec for the second session to get the flowers, I asked him about the numbing cream. Yeah, my memory fucked up. Hold up. I lie. Okay. Let's, let's start off from jump. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. So, what first happened was he did the outline of my flowers. Now, what we were going to do is we were going to do a cherry blossom tree on my back. Um. So, he did the outline um, of the cherry blossom flowers on my back. Now, I don't know if y'all can see. Like I said, I'm going to... Y'all probably cannot see that. I'm going to just put the picture on the screen. So, I'm going to put it here. This was the outline of the cherry blossom uh, flowers that I was supposed to do. This is the outline that I agreed to, guys. Let's keep that in mind. He did this outline. I checked it in the mirror. I said, okay, I like that. Let's do it. Keep that in mind. I agreed to this outline. So, um... That's what happened. Yeah, he did the outline. I asked him about the um the numbing cream. I said, okay, can you put the numbing cream on? This goes. I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse my language, but this this whole situation, I'm probably gonna be cursing because y'all, this really upsets me. Like this nigga really fucked up the biggest tattoo on my goddamn back body. So I asked him about the numbing cream. He goes, oh, you should have said something earlier because you have to have the numbing cream. I don't know how long you gotta have it on, but he was like, you gotta let the numbing cream sit for this um, amount of time and he was like we don't have time for that nigga you brought up the numbing cream to me on my last session and now you all right so mm. <laughs> yeah i'm trying to eat and i don't want my wings to get cold so he starts tattooing y'all that shit hurts so goddamn bad i'm not even gonna have to y'all it hurts so bad but when y'all see what the... I'm not even going But yeah, that shit hurt. So, um... Yeah, he started like the back... Left side of my um back tattoo first. Hurt like a... Then, he got to like the top of my back. Y'all. But I say... I started crying. When I said, I have... I had eight tattoos. I... I knew what tattoo pain felt like, but y'all, when he got to the top of my back, I've never cried during a tattoo. That was the worst pain I've ever felt, and probably in life. Like, I was miserable. So after he saw I was crying, I think he, I want to say he gave he gave me like a no. That's what happened. I started crying at the top of my back. So since he sees I'm crying, he sees I'm in really really bad pain. He was like. I'm going to put some numbing cream on you. Uh, We're going to sit and wait till it um kick in. And then I'll, I'll finish the rest of your back tattoo. I'm like, all right, cool. So, he puts the numbing cream. Wraps it up. I, like, laid on the couch. And he went outside and, like, took a smoke break or some shit. So, maybe, like, 30 minutes later. I really can't remember because, like I said, this was two years ago. But maybe, like, 30 minutes later, he comes in. He like, are you ready? I'm like, yeah, let's go. So, he starts tattooing, and it did feel way better. Like, I, it, it was still painful, but I didn't feel it as bad. Um, so he finishes up the tattoo. Oop. Now I ain't gonna cap. This was probably my ill. But then again, if I would have spoke on it then and there, it still wouldn't have mattered. Because at the end of the day, the shit was tatted on my skin. I mean, yeah. So, he lets me look in the mirror. I kind of noticed that it looks weird. But, yeah, I was in so much pain from that back tattoo. I was just ready to go. So, I was like, in my head, I'm like, this shit kind of looks weird. But I'm like, maybe I'm like, my back swollen and shit. I'm like, maybe I'm tripping. Oh my god, we did my flowers in like a pinkish color. 
Um, so yeah. So he wraps up my back. I drive home. <laughs> I drive home. I get home. Now I'm about to take a shower. So I take off the wrap. And I look in the mirror. And I'm like, what the fuck? back is ugly as the fuck like what is this so now i'm trying to make sure i'm not tripping i show my mom my mom don't have any tattoos so she really didn't know like what it was supposed to look like for real for real but she was like yeah i don't really think that looks right tish i'm like yeah i know i'm not tr crazy i like facetime my sister and my brother i'm like showing them i'm like i'm tripping on this shit look this my you know this ain't it they're like nah that ain't it like, once again, I'm going to insert a picture of, <laughs> y'all, I'm going to insert the picture of what my back tattoo look like. When you see this shit, let me, let me pull it up. I'm going to get mad all over again. Y'all, this nigga tattooed pink flames on my goddamn back. The top of my back, mind y'all, remember I said once he got to the top of my back, that's really when I really cried because it hurt so bad. It looked like he was tattooing circles on the top of my back. Um, yeah, like it was like he did flames on one side, leaves on another side, and at the top of my back, he did circles. Ooh. Boy, what the fuck? So I'm pissed off. I'm like, what? The Boy, if you ain't know how to do cherry blossom flowers, you should have said that. Or like when you did the first flower and you saw that shit look like a goddamn flame, speak up and be like, ooh, this ain't coming out right. And, and we could have worked on that. You know, you've tattooed my whole goddamn back. And I know you've seen how stupid this shit looked on my back and you just kept tattooing. Like that shit not permanent. Come on. Come on. So, I DM'd him. Mm. Oh shit, hold on y'all. I DM'd him and I sent him a picture and I was like, this don't look right. Then go send the picture. I'm I'm gonna put everything over here so y'all can read it. He gonna send a picture that he took in my back tattoo and gonna say I gotta sit for him to be able to detail it if um, I want more of, of the look that I was going for the cherry blossom look. So here's here's the first thing He's trying to blame me for why my tattoo came out the way it came out He's trying to say because I couldn't sit because I was in pain That's the reason that my back tattoo not detailed Fuck a detail, baby. I have flames on my goddamn bag. Like what are you talking about? so I'm gonna I'm put everything in here. Ugh, hold on y'all cuz I'm really hungry as hell. Uh, I can't do no mukbang no more because it's too my damn food gonna be cold. Um I'm really tempted to finish my plate of food and then come back and tell y'all the story time so I can be fully involved. That's probably what I'm gonna do. So give me a second. Oh my god, you oh, really hungry. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <clears throat> now, let's get back into it. Scoot me back a little bit. Okay, so, where did, the, where did I leave off at? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I had DM'd him, right? And, yeah, he was, he was blaming me, trying to say if I was able to sit longer, then my tattoo would be more in detail. But it's like, it's not even the fact of detailing. It's the fact that, baby, I don't have flowers on my back. I have leaves and flames like come on let's be for real so <clears throat> that goes on so i'm like i said i'm still gonna be inserting the screenshot so y'all can read it yourselves but why didn't i put my response to that so yeah i was like i understand i was hurting but she i like i said earlier she i would have rather stop and come back another time with numbing cream to be honest i said because this is a big ass tattoo and i said and looking in the mirror it's like i can't really tell their flowers i said it just looks like a bunch of pink and circles at the top of my back let's be for real and then 
I said, do you think we could change it to different flowers? I said, and maybe black ink and just cover it up. Because I don't know. It just doesn't look like the outline is so thick. He said, I tried to be detailed. When I started out, you couldn't take it. It's easy for you to tell me now you would have come back. But in the session you wanted to, your tattoo done, I was doing my best to finish without you tapping out. Yeah, nigga, I wanted my tattoo done the way I wanted it done. I didn't want what you gave me. Like, baby, it would have been no... Like, how you gonna take initiative to be like, I probably wouldn't have come back? You don't know what I would have did. Like, I've come to... You've tattooed my body about eight, nine times. What are you talking about I wasn't gonna come back? Like, what? Anyways, he said, I bent as much as i could to make you comfortable i understand where you're coming from but like you say this is a big tattoo more detail better i don't know what he tried to say you gotta sit for me to work once again steady trying to blame me being in pain for why my tattoo came the way came out the way it came out that is bullshit. what does me and y'all i could see if like if he was tattooing me and I was in pain and I was sitting up there like wiggling and, and moving and this, this and that, I could understand, okay, that might fuck up a tattoo. Y'all, all I was doing was laying there and I, I might have been like whining like, ooh, that shit hurt, you know, but that's normal. You ain't giving me no numbing cream. I'm in pain. Like, what the fuck? Since when can't you verbalize that you're in pain? Like, how does me verbalizing that I'm in pain make you mess up? my tattoo let's be for real like that's really what i did not like about this situation he's steady trying to blame me as to why my tattoo came out the way it came out be for real anyways um he kept going he said i oh this way he really got me heated y'all he said i could do each flower but that shit gonna take hella time uh he said i threw you the 500 because i thought you could take it and we could knock it out but that wasn't the case that's how much he charged me for the whole tattoo was 500 Um, He says, I don't mind doing another session. I just can't work for free, though. Being I already put more hours than anticipated on a tattoo. Boy, if you don't get... You think I'm finna pay you some more money after you done fucked up my back tattoo? Bitch, you dumb. Is you dumb. What the fuck do I look like? I'm the customer. I'm not satisfied with what the hell you did on a permanent back tattoo. And you're going to try to tell me that you're not going to work for free. Uh -uh. So after that, I put a, a little collage together. I'm going to insert all this. I put a little collage together showing him what the hell cherry blossom supposed to look like because obviously you must not know what what the cherry blossom flower is supposed to look like because obviously in your head you think it's supposed to look like a goddamn flame when it ain't so i did a little collage i said i said i need this fixed because this ain't what i act wait no i think that's right i think that's right i was just like um i have a raw ass outline of a tree on my back but the flowers don't match the tree he said, oh, y'all. Then he, okay, so y'all gonna see all this. He commented on the outline that he gave me, the picture of the outline. He said, that's how I wanted to do it, but I was battling with getting you comfortable to do that. So you basically just owned up that the outline that I agreed to do, to do that I gave my consent to do on my back, you didn't do it because you trying to say, because I wasn't comfortable. So you basically saying that you switched up my goddamn back tattoo without my permission because I wasn't comfortable when all you had to do was say, you know what, Tish, you in pain. Let's try this next time and we could do some numbing cream. You gonna switch up my back tattoo? Boy, be for real. And matter of fact, boy, you didn't switch up shit. You didn't know how to tattoo cherry blossom flowers and you thought you could play trial and error on my gun back that's really what it's giving because like come on not one flower on not one of these flowers on my back came out to how it was supposed to be so you trying to make it seem like you switched it up no nigga you didn't know how to tattoo cherry blossom flowers just say that from the get-go and i could have switched up the type of flowers i wanted like you didn't even give me 
me a choice. That's what really f you did not give me a choice. Anyways, like I said, y'all, this this topic really upsets me. But I'm so happy I got to the point where I could really speak on it for real. Because y'all, I was so depressed after this whole situation, like to the point where I was wearing clothes, like I would not show off my back. To this nowadays, I I don't really care too much. I'll wear my back out. Like, I'm happy I got to that point because I was depressed. I have not gotten a tattoo in two years after, since this incident happened because I'm fucking traumatized. Like, but let's get back into it. He said, could we have, could we have just ended the session and come back? Yeah. But I had, uh, wait, yeah. But I had already, I, I already was two hours in. I'm looking at the time and all, because if I told you to come back, I would have been doing a whole session for free. Here we go again, complaining about money. Bitch, we said two sessions I plan to finish in two. Shit was hurting you. I was trying to finish. You cried. We did the numb, all that. Nigga ain't bullshit you, but I had to get the piece done. I guess it's just different from my point of view. Boy, goddamn peace day. And my thing is, if you so worried about got working for free, I really would like maybe it was nothing for me to pay you for a third session. Like that's nothing. Like I understand sessions is that's how y'all make y'all money. It was nothing for us to do third session or fourth session, fifth session, none of that. Like, stop just trying to make it seem like you like like why is everything in your hands? Nigga, this is my body. This is my goddamn body. Like, whatever. So, I, a lot of this cut off and I can't go to the DMs because I blocked him and he blocked me. So, but um, on this screenshot, I said, also the top of my back is circles. How is that going to be defined? That's how I'm trying to see. Sh that's why I'm trying to see should it just be different flowers and black ink? Because I don't know how it could be defined when it doesn't e even look like flowers. Clock it. Clock it. And it's like I'm being blamed for being in pain. Clock it. For my why my tattoo isn't to its full ability. Clock it. Clock it. But it doesn't even look close to the outline that I agreed to. Hello. He gonna say, I'm gonna do the cherry blossom flowers outline in black ink. I gotta show you to understand. We passed that part. I'm trying to fix it. But I'm telling you what I need you to do if you want a more defined tattoo. Better you sit better and faster I can work. Steady trying to make it seem like because it was in pain. That's why my says, boy. So I believe after that DM, it was to a certain point where he called me on Instagram. Uh, because I was like, nigga, I'm not paying you when you you messed up my back tattoo. So he called me on Instagram and he was like, you know what? I'm going to fix it for free. Um, no matter how many sessions it takes, I'm gonna fix it for free. And y'all keep, keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. I really wish I would have recorded him when he did, when he, but y'all know y'all can't record when somebody on Instagram live and don't record it. But I really wish he, I would have recorded that. But he was like, I'm gonna fix for free. No matter how many sessions it takes, we gonna get it fixed. Da 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 da. All right. I'm like, all right, cool. So it comes down to the day where we're supposed to be fixing my back tattoo this is my biggest regret i really wish i would have just got my money back and left his ass alone and went to somebody else to cover it up but i didn't want to pay nobody else i was i was at to the point where you my shit up you finna fix it i'm not finna go pay nobody else to fix it you finna you know i'm finna get my money where you you finna fix it nowadays i learned my lesson maybe if somebody do up once leave them where they at Lead him where they at. So, yeah, I went back to him. Um, uh, I'm looking at my back tattoo and I'm just disgusted. So, yeah, I went back to him. This time, his he was going to put regular flowers on my back, outline it in um, black. And then I believe the next session, he was supposed to fill it in with red, I believe. And then on the outside where the pink still showed. I think he was supposed to like do blue around the fly. I don't know. He he was explaining it to me. I still ain't know what the fuck he was talking about. I just wanted my back tattoo fixed. At this point, I was just desperate. Like, nigga, fix this shit. So, 
I'm gonna insert the video of what my shit. This time I put my own number cream on before I left home. And y'all, I sat through that goddamn uh, tattoo. Like it was nothing. So, yeah. So I'm gonna show y'all what this shit look like. Ugly as fuck. Because you put so much goddamn pink ink on my back that in order to cover up all that pink, you had to put all them little bitty flowers. So now my tree just looks like a tree with. 30,000 flowers on it. Like, so that happened. So, y'all, remember, y'all, he said he was going to fix everything for free. Cool, right? So, he did that. I went home by my day. I, I can't, I, I think I might have waited like two weeks for it to, um, Heal, cause y'all know what a back tattoo we got a peel and all that. I want to say I probably waited like two weeks, and I hit him up again, cause I'm like, all right, I'm ready for the next session. Like I'm ready to finish it, fix it. So I texted him. I'm gonna put the screenshots. Say hello. I think I'm ready to finish my back. He was like, I can get you in next week. I'm like, okay, bet that works. He says, feel free to tip me too, being that I'm doing all this basically for free. I'm just saying. Huh? Tip you? What the hell I look like tipping you for something that you fucked up? Are you dumb? So, I'm at this point where I'm like, I looked at that text message. I said, I'm finna ignore what he's saying. Because you you must really think I'm, I'm stupid. Like, what do you think this is? So, I ignored him. I said, what time I need to come? He said, I'll let you know what day and time at the end of this week. I just liked his message. He texts me again, talking about dot, 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 for show. I ignored it. I left him on red. He texts again, okay, I'll be more direct. I guess it would be nice if you threw me something for all the extra work I am doing. I did the piece for 500 Regardless of what happened, all the extra I'm doing, that's an easy $1,000 piece. And working for free, not fun, or cool. Tattoo not cool. Like what? So I, I that's exactly what I texted. I said, and walking around with my back ugly, not fun or cool. Like what the hell are you talking about? Cause at this point I'm really fucking irritated because it's like you really trying to play on my top. Like you messed up me and you think I'm finna tip you for fixing up something that you messed up? <sighs> Come on. So he texted back to him some are you serious with a question mark. I'm dead ass gonna say even when i come at you respectful that's how you come in that's a bit i could have easily just fixed the flowers simple and been done with this but i took the time not to not only accommodate you but do even more to make your tattoo stand out more you down bad for that i said i literally said the same sentence you said i said you saying working for free not cool okay walking around not satisfied with my back not cool so what you talking about this how i'm coming i said you agreed to do my back for free way in may when i expressed how i was upset about the outcome now you're complaining about fixing it for free it ain't adding up buki he i said i'm not about to argue with you about this when you su suggested doing it for free and we agreed on it but okay so after that he called me i'm gonna insert all the videos because y'all i'm gonna insert the videos or I, can we listen to it on here we might can listen to it on here um because like i said i'm doing this from instagram if y'all can hear talking about from the jump i just ignore what you said because i'm not trying to do all that what are you talking about all you did was outline my back my back had it bro stop talking while i'm talking i'm trying you're literally talking over me 
All you did was outline my back. I I don't even know how this tattoo finna go. And from jump, you asked me for a tip when I don't even know if I'm finna still be fully satisfied with the tattoo. I can see if you... No, let me talk. Let me... I'm sitting up there. I'm busting my head. Y'all. I remember when I posted this, some people was in the comments like... In the comments on this man ads because it's just like... Let's let's finish this. Involuntarily, I can if I'm satisfied with your work. If I'm satisfied with your work, then I'll tip you. The same way anybody asks me who the fuck do my tattoos, I'm quick to throw you clientele. That ain't nothing for me. So stop acting like I just don't want to give you a tip. If I'm not satisfied right now, do not try to force no fucking tip on me. Simple. Hey, bro. That's just how it goes. No, 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 dog. You are like cussing and stuff, man. I ain't cussing at you, bro. Don't, don't. Bro, you okay? All right. What you mean, okay, man? That's real, bro. This is crazy, bro. This is I'm crazy. Talking to you, bro. You have to cuss and stuff. What you got to cuss for? This, this is crazy. Right but you ain't gonna say nothing about that, dog. You want to sit there and be disrespectful? A tip is right voluntarily. You're disrespectful, bitches. You my daddy. The fuck? Dana, what is a tip? I I can decide if I want to give a tip, right? So let me decide if I want to give a tip. It's on the way you steady texting. It's like you trying to force me to give you a tip type shit. I saw your text. All right, tell me what that day and time to come. Do my tattoo, and then you would have saw if you got a tip. Then don't be sitting up here nah, like you got. Nah. I gotta agree to give you a tip for you nah. to fix my back tattoo. How the fuck nah. that go? That's not a tip. <laughs> if if I have to pay you to fix my tattoo, then you need to say it's a fee to fix the tattoo. You basically saying you don't want to do my shit for free. The fuck, girl, stop talking over me. I let you talk. You just talk for three minutes straight, and I ain't saying nothing. I'll let you talk. So stop talking over me. Stop talking over me. Dina, what is the Oh, I'm getting irritated just listening to y'all. Like, and it's the fact that he was sitting up there arguing with me. Like, like you arguing with me like I'm your girl or something. Like, what at the end of the day, no matter how many tattoos you did on my body and, and we was cool, why why are you arguing with me like this? I'm the customer. The fuck? Um, so all that happened, I argued with him. He argued, well, I'm gonna say he argued with me and I argued back with him because, bitch, I don't know what you thought I was going for, but it never gave that. So, after all that happened, I was standing on, I was standing on business. I'm not tipping you. He, uh, I think I hung up in his face. So, he texted, he said, find another art artist. I'm done fucking with you. You not finna keep talking to me crazy, telling me where I am and ain't gonna do. F all that, bash me to your friends and all, I really don't care. F that, you took my kindness for weakness, ain't even worth it. I said, you're weird, say less love. And I said, you might as well send my 200 back for the flowers then, since you don't want to finish my tattoo. He gonna say, and you might as well send me 200 to finish your back. I don't got nothing for you. Want to talk crazy, then stand on it. I'm good, love, and joy with the peace emoji. Bitch. And I, to this day, I think I blocked him after he said that. But to this day, I wish I would have went off on him and called. Oh, I just, I'm not going to say what I want to say, but I really wish I would have went off. But I was like, I'm not finna go off. I said, I'm finna expose this man on Instagram. Because at the time, I had... I might have no, I didn't have 100k followers at the time. I had maybe like 80k followers on Instagram at the time. I'm like, boy, you done fucked with the wrong person. I'm like, you fucking with somebody who got followers. I'm finna expose you. So I, I made post on um Instagram, exposed them. Um, they had uh, other girls. This is what I forgot to mention as well. Okay, so. I don't even want to mention that in this video because like I said, I don't want to be on no messy shit. I already done exposed this man before, but he did try to fuck with me on multiple occasions. And the way I like, I, I'm i not going to lie, I finessed the nigga. I was like, uh, because all my tattoos, I want to say after he did my thigh tattoo. How many tattoos I have? This one. I think my thigh tattoo might have been like my third or fourth tattoo that he did on my body. After I did my thigh tattoo with him, that's when he started like commenting on my Instagram posts, like trying to 
trying to mess with me. So I'm telling him, I'm like, how you trying to mess with me but got me paying full price for my tattoos? I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to mess with nobody that, you know, you got me paying full price for my tattoos, but you, you, trying, you trying to get at me? Mm -mm. so that's why he claimed he cut the deal on the on my back tattoo being five hundred dollars uh because i told him that so yeah when i exposed all that because he had a fiance at the time or a wife i can't remember he might still be married I, or engaged whatever but i did expose like how he was trying to mess with me so when i did expose him on instagram they had a quite a big girl of girls that commented or dm me and was like he did that to them before so all I can say is from now what I've learned, once a tattoo artist, if you're a female, if once a tattoo artist start trying to get at you and you know you you that's not what you want to do, leave that tattoo artist alone. Cause that's really what I wish I would have did. Because it's like, did you mess up my back tattoo because you was mad I wasn't fucking with you? Like, did you have a bad day? Like I really still to this day, I really don't know why my back tattoo turned out the way it turned out because he's trying to blame it to me being in pain but there's still like me being in pain shit messed up your capability of doing a, a tattoo and my thing is you did a detailed ass tree on my back and i was in pain then you completed my the tree perfectly so how do you mess up something as simple as flowers like if y'all look at my tattoos my tattoos is full of flowers he did all of this so it's like how do you fuck up flowers on my back yeah so i exposed him all that happened um he blocked me on instagram but i remember like people were sending me his post he was trying to say i was clout chasing him by exposing him how i'm a clout chase you and, and i had more more instagram followers than you i brought you clientele when i'm out or on instagram people ask me who do your tattoos i'm posting you and tagging you and telling people in the drive through oh yeah this is instagram send it like what the clout baby i don't give a first of all who the hell wants clout from an ugly ass back tattoo baby if i could have hit my tattoo for the longest i would have did that like i did not want to expose this ugly sh shit on my back but the way you handled that situation i had to expose you because i don't know what you thought this was so yeah all that happened um like i said i was really really depressed about the situation because like i said this is it was a it's a big ass tattoo. Um, I was gonna get laser removal, but I heard laser removal really hurts and that it's a long, lengthy process. So as of now, I I do want to get my back tattoo covered up. I just have not found nobody, a tattoo artist, um, that I would want to cover it up. Now, when I exposed him on Instagram, I did have quite a bit of tattoo artists that reached out to me offering to fix my back tattoo but at the time i was just so scared like i didn't even want to touch my back tattoo because i was like if i get somebody to cover up my tattoo and then it looks worse than you know worse than uh better then i was really gonna be depressed so i'm to the point where i'm taking my time um i'm gonna find somebody that really specializes in cover-ups and, and you know do the damn thing so i can get that fixed um i have not had a needle touch my skin since my back tattoo got fucked up and i want to say that was in like july of 2022 i do want to like finish my sleeve get more tattoos but i'm just so goddamn traumatized because it's like that really opened my eyes like this shit is permanent like anybody you could go to anybody and they could fuck you up and like i said he did all my tattoos so that really was traumatizing like damn it take one time for something permanent on your body to to get messed over so yeah i think that's really all i got to say like after i exposed him it was no more communicating with us i blocked him he blocked me um he was posting like subliminals on on his instagram story mad or whatever but i really didn't give up i'm like you fuck me up i'm gonna fuck your clientele up so yeah that's what happened um if y'all know any raw tattoo artists that do cover-ups let me know um i'm really in no rush to fix it um but i do want it fixed eventually so yeah y'all let me know but i hope y'all enjoyed this story time 
um y'all let me know what other videos y'all want to see from me because like I, I really don't know i've been was supposed to drop another video but i don't be knowing what y'all want to see for real so y'all comment in the comments section what videos y'all want to see from me as far as like um day in the life videos anything so yeah make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and i really think that's all that i have to say about the story time all right, I love you guys, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye.